Hey guys, did you know that every week MDB team and our community creates interesting mini projects that we call snippets and you can use these snippets as inspirations for your own projects? I am Michal from mdbootstrap.com and today, together with you, I would like to have a look at the most interesting snippets from the last month. But before we start, a small request. If you like what we do, please give a thumbs up to this video, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. It will help us grow and create more valuable tutorials for you in the future. And now, without further ado, let's jump into the code. For those of you who don't know, MD Bootstrap is not only a front-end framework, but also a platform where you can create and publish your own solutions in our online code editor and use other people's solutions. While you are at the homepage of mdbootstrap.com, simply click Playground in the top navigation and you will be redirected to Snippets platform. And here you can find a thousands of front-end solutions, templates, custom components and experimental features. When you click at the given snippet, you will be redirected to the code editor. And here you can edit this snippet directly in the browser. So for example, let's type some dummy text. And the code will be updated directly in the browser. You can also fork it, that means copy it. And from this point you can create your completely own solution. You can publish it that other people from MDB community can see it. Or you can download it together with MDB package. You can also create a repository with this if you are registered user on MD Bootstrap platform. It's free, so I strongly encourage you to do this. Or you can turn it into a regular website. So uh, apart from being a snippets platform, our MD Bootstrap platform is also a free hosting available for you for free. When you come back to the main page of the snippets, you can see that here you can find some starter templates that will help you start with your bootstrap projects or you can find even more here. It's like hundreds of predefined templates that you can use for free. But the topic of this video is not a free template. So let's get back to the main page of the snippets. And here at the top of the page, you can see a section top new snippet. So let's click it and let's sort it by date. And here we can see some amazing snippets, amazing front-end solutions that we can explore and get some inspirations in our own work. The first one is really cool. It's called Fancy SVG Shapes. And as you can see, it uses SVG graphics to create some extraordinary shapes. In the intro sections, it uses a video background, which is even more crazy, and together with this truncated oblique shape, creates a truly amazing composition. Below we can find the cards, which utilizes SVG to give the images these fancy shapes. And when you click them, you can see this very nice ripple effect. I like it a lot. If you like it too, give a thumbs up to this video to express your appreciation. By the way, if you want to learn how to use SVG as a pro and create such SVG shapes on your own, we already created a tutorial about this. You will find a link in the description of this video. The next snippet is quite crazy. It's a psychedelic landing page, an invitation to Halloween party. That's so cool. And if you want, you can turn on this disturbing background music which makes it even creepier. I simply love it. The next snippet is Task Manager Dashboard. It has a clean minimalistic design with a very well designed responsiveness. You 
a good example to get inspired when we need to create some productivity app. By the way, links to all the snippets and tutorials mentioned in this video you will find in the description. Let's move on. The next snippet amazes me with its colors, a picture that is perfectly matched to the color palette of the interface around it catches the eye. The responsiveness of this solution is also a huge plus. What's next? A poster invitation to the museum. Simple minimalistic design with a nice typography and vertically placed text. Very interesting mobile responsiveness. In my opinion, quite attractive solution. By the way, in September I was in a Vatican Museum. Few things in the world impressed me more than an imaginable collection of art gathered in the Vatican. If you are ever in Rome, be sure to visit the Vatican Museum and pay homage to the Michelangelo's works in the Sistine Chapel. And if we are talking about art, in my opinion, our last snippet is a real work of art. It's a stunning dark theme admin dashboard with a radial gradient background and amazing glass effect. Everything pixel perfect and responsive. And what's more important, all the components are interactive. The charts, map and side navigation. Fantastic. And you know what? There is a tutorial about creating this dashboard from scratch. Yes, we created this a while ago and you can find a link to this video in the description. Be sure to check it out. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.